This video is sponsored by Big Boy Gaming. Follow the link in the description below for all of your card gaming needs. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Edison Club. I'm your host Mike and today we have some zombie action going on. So I've brought on my friend who is an expert in zombies, Sasha Egger. Sasha, what can you tell us about this zombie list? Um, it's just... Uh, one of my old lists, I played the place the hero engine, so you have... Being able to play malicious is just really good because you can get to Stardust and Dark End really quickly. And it just is a little bit more explosive with return. It can be a little annoying drawing two malicious, which is definitely... Yeah, that happens, can happen. But you can, you can stack one with Plague, which is pretty good, and... Uh, it's kind of... I played this deck for a while. I like it a little bit more than something like Diva Hero because it's less like using your entire hand to combo. You go for the ODK where you can do that, but you can also like have a more control based game where you just get pluses like as the game goes on. Yeah, that makes sense. Because sometimes there are games where you just go like Diva, Goblin Zombie, Brionic. If you have malicious, you do discard set. You set a card, bounce your own card, and you just end with uh, Brionic Goyo Colossal Fighter, which is eight thousand because malicious is in the graveyard. But you can also have a much longer game, and um, it's still probably my favorite Edison deck. I don't play it as much now because it's just tough against deck devastation virus and oppression, and also stuff like. Uh, GD Crow is kind of annoying too. And you can kind of start slow. And something like Icarus Attack is really annoying because every play in this deck takes two cards. So there's no just like bring back Treeborn, Summon Caius. Yeah. And that's a big problem for the deck. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Just uh, you, you kind of compared the deck a little bit to diva hero it does look a lot like diva hero and just in the way that it's built there are so many one ofs in this deck which i love i love that aspect of this deck. yeah it's something like 18 or 19 something like something crazy like that yeah you yeah. can also play even more of them if you play like a few different like if you played more like warriors and played like graphers and like rota and stuff but yeah yeah um, it makes sense so just for a little bit of background history here i always uh, think of Sasha as the zombie guy because when we first started playing Edison at our shop when it was first taking off Sasha played zombies and just Absolutely zero diffed me and everyone that came from my town with zombies Like I, I remember specifically the first time we played I got to a point where I thought I could beat you with gores But I didn't realize you had plague spreader and Android on the field. So you just made black rose and I was like what the heck that's so stupid <laughs> so I always remember that I have I guess I you could say I have fond memories of the deck but I did get beat up by it quite a bit in the beginning yeah I remember one the one time the crazy one is I remember I played against Austin in the top four when he was playing like disaster dragons and yeah. I only won game three because I had lightning vortex his like red MD and Drago and then he like had it. He brought it out again, and I drew another lightning vortex, and I won because of that. Yeah, yeah. Austin has a personal vendetta against you. Every time <laughs> I bring you up, he's like, "I'm gonna beat Sasha one day." <laughs> okay, so I uh, I'm ready for some zombie action. So let's go take this thing for a spin. I see you use the alt art tomato. That's a that's a connoisseur's choice. It, uh, that was just the way it imported when I imported the deck list. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, sweet. All right. This is good. Nice. Let's okay. fucking go. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Going first is always good. Yep. Okay. Okay. This hand is not the best. Um, we don't really know what we're playing against. I probably just said bottom was in pass. All right, good with that. Please don't activate future fusion, please. Just one time on ladder, please don't activate future fusion. Yeah, 
is a little bit of an awkward hand. I just think it's better not to set two and to get heavied or something. Yeah, I think so too. Or just like set value, set Icarus or something. Just if he opens like Shura or yeah, even a Raiko, it's okay. It's like, it's like not, not a big deal. Yeah, he's he's really thinking hard here. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, models, so. yeah absolutely. No way. <laughs> no way. Yeah, so this is kind of... Oh, he's type. He's going to ask, does he still search? He must be new. I, mean, I, thought, I thought for a second he's going to play my body as a shield. I'm like, oh god, no. I know, I did too. <laughs> I've had good luck so far. I've played against people that were definitely new, but they've all been really like receptive of what I've said. Yeah, like if we did if we did this on like my account, I mean, we could be we could definitely get. OK, so this OK, so th there's a slight problem situation here because. The play is to summon Stratos and to search malicious, but if that is oppression or Icarus. Yeah. Any play we do, which is like if, if the Stratos lives, like if we deep prison the monster, we can go Brionic, discard malicious. And then make a level eight. Yeah. But that's probably not going to go through, but that's just the best play we have. To okay. Do. So we're going to Stratos for Malicious? Yeah. Because okay. that's the only target we have left in deck. It's going to Sir. I don't think he has main deck pulling the rug. You want to attack with this guy? Yeah. I mean, there's no reason really not to because. He's probably it's probably gonna go through anyway because it's probably like an Icarus or so it's deep prison. Oh, okay. okay. Well that's that's fine because we still have malicious edge. So I would just set deep prison and pass. I didn't really think like I personally wouldn't have deep prison that. Because yeah. that means also he doesn't have Sirocco. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Or maybe he does have Sirocco, he just didn't even think about it. Alright. Yeah, it's yep. fine. He's good this time. Probably get Blizzard or Clute. Yeah. Or he's just going to forget the search. That would be good too. <laughs> There's also the chance, like, these newer Blackwing players, man, he could just unload right here. Like, who knows? Okay. He's getting the follow up. We're going to easy peasy deprison this guy, which cuts off his yeah. follow up. Yeah, no question. Yeah, so I think I read some stat that like the the War League season last year that in all of the matches zombies against Blackwings, zombies lost like seventy percent of the time or seventy two percent of the time. Like it was in the worst matchup of any deck against another deck that they had that on. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, like it seemed like in the beginning I saw a lot of people playing zombies, but now it's just. It's so rare to actually even see it. I think if Zombies has an okay frog matchup in certain like in certain situations. Okay, so this is um we want to probably we're just gonna bet that this isn't oppression and we're gonna go prodigy Caius the Whirlwind. I think that's the best play. Okay. Because if it isn't oppression and literally anything else, we'll just clear the whirlwind. Or if it's not like solemn. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, that was that was a good draw, for sure. Okay, mirror force okay. is gone. Okay. That's actually okay. Uh yeah, I would think about I think you probably don't set it here because like he has Blizzard. Yeah, Blizzard isn't really doing much right now. The reason now. I'm thinking you don't set it is because if he goes like summon Blizzard or something and set Icarus, yeah, and then you did something the following turn, he could Icarus you. Yeah, and I, and you're at eight thousand. He has nothing engraved, so he can't. He can't like. I think just passing is fine. Also, you could just represent that you have Gores. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get like crazy OTK or anything. At least not at this point. It's not even possible. Like you would like. 
he would have to have like he would have to be the most conservative player in the world right now i actually don't i don't even think yeah, yeah that's fine this is fine exactly and now we know we know one of his other cards in hand so all right all right okay. now we want to summon mizuki and attack it because if this goes through and we protect it with Mirror Force, then we have the Diva malicious follow up play. Yeah. Whirlwind is such a dumb card, man. Whirlwind I just is wonder crazy. what the format would look like if it was at one in Edison. Because it was at one later in 2010. Yeah. I guess Duality was out then, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, I would definitely set Mirror Force here. Yeah. Is it sure? Uh... Yeah, and also just like if this goes through or he sets or he doesn't do something, we have insane. Like this is Goyo Stardust, or you know, this is Brionic Stardust, and possibly more. Yeah. Yeah, using Brio to bounce your own card to pitch malicious is really crazy. I mean, it happens a lot. Like yeah. you need to do it. Because you can also use it to get Blake Spreader in Graveyard when you need to go for game. Yeah, that makes sense. I saw in Fraser's Discord the other day, he was talking about doing a tournament where like you could use new cards of like an Edison I think that's archetype. That's a bad idea. Is it, have you played Master Duel before? Like, have you gotten? Have you played against the Cyber Dragon that like sends two two lights from the graveyard from your deck to the graveyard, and it can attack two more times? I have it on Master Duel, but I used to play that deck a little when I played Advanced. That card is really dumb. What is this guy doing? The, this makes... <laughs> he's uh, he's a little new, you know? He's he's thinking about all his options. But I was going to say, like, you don't even need to play new support in Black Wings and Edison. You could just play the third Whirlwind. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean... All right, let's let's think actually for a second. I'm thinking maybe. I think you want to do that play, but you don't want to bounce Kalut. You want to bounce the Mirror Force. Okay. Or actually, no way. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think here. So, so, I guess I guess with Mirror Force that it doesn't really matter because you really actually just don't want this engraved because. Then he could go like brain control, the Brionic, bounce, blizzard, summon them back the guy. Yeah. That's like the worst case scenario. Yeah. I think I think you probably want to summon Diva here and just use the effect. Our only other target is Diva, right? Yeah, it doesn't play Gilman. So the reason that it plays three Diva is because it gives you a better chance of drawing it, and then you can send the third one to future. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So now you want to make Brionic? Yeah. Does which diva matter? Attack or defense? We're gonna use the other one unless he made X Crow. So I would use the attack position one just in okay. case. Okay, I'm gonna use this guy. Yeah, I'm. Th I, I, I'm th thinking on this. So I think you do want to bounce the Kalu. Okay. Because you have Mirror Force set. So if you do this and you make Stardust, you just attack for forty eight and then. No matter what he does, he just mirror force and then bounce whatever set card is and attack the game on him. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So we bounce malicious here. Yes. So you want to hit the clue, yeah. I'm so glad we're getting to do zombie things in this one because the one I did with Eric, we didn't even get to do Vayu things. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is kind of a bad... The thing is, like, if you stabilize early and you don't fall behind so early, you could definitely win. Especially game one. Games two and three are harder. Yeah. I'm going to do this guy. Yeah. Okay. You say yeah, for starters? Even if he has cores, which he probably doesn't. Yeah. We would just pitch both and then still like be in a game. You still win on the following turn, probably. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you want to. So, okay. yeah, the reason we want Stardust is because we want to protect the Mirror Force. Yeah. So that he has to attack into the Mirror Force. Yeah, that makes sense. And the reason that um the one thing that's a little bit weird is the Gaia in there. It's because sometimes when you're using Diva, you don't want to use Brionic or Goyo, and um. 
you need something that you can make into level eight or just like a random thing because it attacks over ab zero sometimes i can't come up oh so yeah that's why it's in there yeah that makes sense for sure i did this play at locals yesterday and I, my brio got my controlled but i i still won that match but i was like oh my god i had yeah. like two back row stardust brionic so annoying when that happens yeah my control is so good so here comes Kalut again <laughs> all right round two for the yeah. Kalut. yeah just mirror forces yeah so. yeah he dropped his Kalut a little early yeah, a lot of the uh the Kalut is just oh, okay he's saving. He's conceding, okay, yeah. and he right. he doesn't have a side deck. <laughs> Either that, or he chose not to side. All right, so we're gonna put in uh, two more dust tornadoes, and deep the other deep prism, and two snow man eaters. Okay, and see if there's anything else. You could do like yeah, lightning vortex also. Sure, why not? Okay. All right, you want to take out um, Trap Does Shoot. Uh, Wing Blast. Spirit Reaper. Solemn. Um, probably Call of the Haunted and probably Tomato, I'd say. Okay. This look good to you? Yeah, that's fine. I hate taking out Call of the Haunted because it's probably like my favorite card in the stack because you can do so many stupid things with Brionic. Yeah, Call of the Haunted. You can like call a Goblin Zombie, summon a guy, Syndra for Brionic, bounce the call, and then set it again. Or like... It's like summon back Stardust or Dark End or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, summon back Dark End off of All the Haunted is really good. You know what the crazy thing that I've done recently that's just so crazy? What's that? Is if you skill drain when you have Dark End, when you've already used it twice, it goes back to the original attack. Oh, yeah, that is stupid. So, like, they'll attack with it with, like, a 2,000 monster, and you just activate skill drain, and then once your skill drain clears, your guy's back to 26. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, buddy. Come on, <laughs> he's come on, friend. He's really thinking about it. Okay, at first I actually thought he picked to go second. I was like, "What?" All right, that's a that's a pretty good hand. Yeah, this is good, especially going first. Oh, nice. Okay, I mean, I guess if it's that right. shoot, kind of stinks, but let's see. Okay, standby. Yeah. He plays All right, what do pretty you think? He plays pretty quickly, so he probably would have just flipped it if he had it. Do you think it. it's worth not using Future Fusion here and risking getting getting hit by something? Um, Because I think the problem is, is like, if he does, going Stardust, like, if you go second is a little bit riskier against Blackwings because they could just go, like, Whirlwind, Sirocco, or, like, Gale, Shura Kalut. We actually can't protect from Shura Kalut, so I'm thinking maybe we just set Turtle, set Duster Knight. Okay, I'm down. Because if we if we just clear the back row and then like like if he attacks this, we might be able to kill him on the next turn. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. We yeah, would have like... a goblin zombie. We would dust tornado. We would send malicious. Okay, we'll chain chain. Yeah, and we'd have book of life. So that's deep prison. I actually kind of felt like it was a deep prison. Um, Sirocco, all right. All right. Okay, no Gale, no Gale, no Gale. All right, yep, that's great. We're okay with this, and you want Goblin yep. Zombie, right? That's pretty much yes. what you always get. No, not necessarily. There's certain situations like, like let's say if you had Malicious in hand, it would be good to get Zombie Master here because then you could discard the Malicious. Oh, so, that's right, because this, poor, yeah, this checks defense, not attack. Yeah. Yeah, poor guy. This guy is about to get. All right. All right future Fusion. Future Fusion for AZ, right? Yeah. Or, yeah, you want to reveal uh, send Diva and Malicious. Oh, and this is crazy also because we can search. We can Brionic search a dark and then play a lure. 
Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, so we're following yeah. here with Diva. You want to use it doesn't. You should use Diva and then Malicious, but you want to use Malicious before you Synchro. Okay. Or before you play Alert, actually, because you don't want to draw the second Malicious. Gotcha. So we do this guy. Yep. And two, yeah, this, this. this might be game actually. I mean, this is gonna be. Okay, so then we make Brio. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is game because we just search. We can search Plague Spreader, disc set Book of Life, bounce it twice. And bounce the Sirocco, and that's that's Goyo Brionic Colossal. That's eight thousand. Nice. Okay, so we get Plague Spreader, right? Yes. Okay. And then you use Malicious. All right. And we should we should play another game because these are quick. Yeah, we definitely can. So um, now, yeah, level eight. Yeah, wait, hold on a second. Um, think, just think real quick. Um, yeah, so you want to bounce first, Brionic the Sirocco by discarding the Zuki. A crazy thing you also could do. I've done this before. Is if you didn't have Mizuki in your hand. You could bounce your own future fusion and play it again for Gaia, sending Stratos and Mizuki. Oh, that is, yeah, that's crazy. I'm glad I'm learning what it's like to activate future fusion now. It feels good. Art is so broken. It's just, it's just so stupid how good it is. It's funny that like the reason that got banned was because of the Dark Flare Dragon and Red MD, the Light Pulsar Red MD looping thing. Yeah. Also, like Eclipse Wyvern, too. That was pretty stupid. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to question us when we use Brionic the second time, since this one... No. Uh, so, yeah, oh, I would... Oh, if you play on I... Ladder, it has the, the old effect on it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually didn't even know that. It shows yeah, how much I actually so, play on here. So, just Mizuki for Goblin Zombie. And then... And then Synchro for... Yeah, you want to make the eight first, so make Colossal Fighter here. Okay. With Diva and Malicious. Okay, so this is 8,000 8, because... Wow. Alright, now set Book of Life and then Brionic discarding Plague. Yeah. So bounce the Book of Life, yeah. Then stack the Book of Life. For Plague? Yeah. And then Syndro for Goyo and search, um, uh, probably, probably just search the other goblin zombie. Yeah, this is the exactly 8,000 OTK line because Malicious in the graveyard are colossal 2,900. Yeah, we'll just we'll just try we'll just go to battle phase and see if it's. I mean, we we could alert first, but we'll just it's just game if he doesn't have it. Yeah. No, you gotta yeah. tell him that it's at twenty nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was really. I mean, the hand game too was crazy. Like, you see, just like the. Yeah, that was that was a good show. <laughs> that was a good showing. Okay, all right. Let's let's see if we can do and it. That again. also was against Blackwing too. I mean, it was against someone who didn't know how, was new to the format, but still. Okay. All right. So this is gonna be a little harder already. Yeah. Just going second is harder. Brionic is Brionic is by far the most insane synchro in the format. It that really is. is. It, the card is so dumb. Like, all right, this actually is a decent decent hand here. Okay, this funny artwork, Rhoda. All right, please don't be like Prisma or something. Okay, so this is probably Vayu then. Yeah. Okay, this is a this is a sort of sketch matchup. 
This really just depends. Do they draw deck Devi or oppression? Yeah. Deck Devi can really just like kill the stack. But the if the game goes on, the zombies can win. All right. Let's hope no one does shoot. All right. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay. Um, all right. I'm thinking here. Okay, so here's the problem. So if we just set the turtle and like set wing blast of us tornado, and we get Caius, that's actually pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. So why don't we MST the back row and then crash the turtle, summon zombie master, attack over the Armageddon Knight, and then main phase two summon back the turtle in defense mode. Okay. Or I guess, uh, yeah, I think that's probably good because, like, I guess you could theoretically get Mizuki if you really want to wing blast. But I think, I think I probably won't want to set the Dust Tornado here anyway. So yeah, I think summoning Zombie Master is good. Okay, because unless he's like main deck and Crow, the we able to malicious Caius on whatever he sets on the next turn. Yeah, so we're gonna do Mali for Turtle, right? Yes. And Zombie Master is really good here because there's no back row, so there's no. No risk of doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. And just set dust. It, it, it's just, yeah. Zombie Master is so much worse than Lumina. It's so sad. For yeah. no good reason. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Pryo thing really stumped me. I didn't know that at all. Yeah. Okay. So we just dust, dust Kai, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. Impression. Okay. Nice. That's great. Yeah, so now we just want to use um, Malicious. Yeah, I would put the Turtle on attack and attack with Zombie Master first, though. Okay. It's probably going to be Hamster or Raiko. Yeah. I would attack with attack with Zombie Master first. Oh, you did say that. I'm sorry. Yeah, because you attack with the middle right. one. He's just taking everything, but yeah. I like doing that because like if he doesn't gores there, then you get the more damage because then you attack for twelve. Yeah, he yeah, it makes sense to just do attack with the middle one first. Yeah, I would set the wing blast and pass. So he's yeah. in a tough spot right now because he needs like brain control Caius or something. I think we had a pretty good opening hand going second there. Okay. Okay. This could be. This could be bad. If he has Graf or Dark Armed. Oh boy. That's... Okay. That's one of them. That's one of them. <laughs> As I guess he could send Plague Spreader here. I mean, it's just like, no. Uh, he's probably gonna send Elfin the Raven. Okay. Oh, that, that means this is the virus version. Yeah. Okay. That's annoying. Yeah, he can kill our Caius now. That's all right, actually. He can't kill the Zombie Master and the Caius, so... Yeah, it's true. He's not going to attack the Turtle, I bet. I bet he also has Deck Devi, so that's going to be annoying. Okay. Um, I feel like... Okay, you... just think, ask him, just like, make sure there's nothing in standby phase, because I think what you should do is you should set Goblin Zombie before you attack, because he might, like, Deck Devi, and then you could get the, the Goblin Zombie search. Okay. So we'll set. Yeah, and I would put the turtle in defense. And it just attack the Graffer. Okay. Yeah, and then I would just pass. I think this is okay. I don't... Like, maybe if he has a return or something, but I don't... I feel like we're in a decent spot here. Yeah. Armor Knight. Okay, that's a very good draw. Yeah. Probably going to send another Bayou, because he has, he has the Armor Master. Yeah. Okay, so I take, what is that, 700? Yeah. Yeah, what do you what do you think about getting Mizuki here in case he has Deck Devi? Or we could get another, we probably should just get another Dark because we, we have Allure. But if he chains, if he like chains Deck Devi when we play Allure, that's going to be really bad. Mm, yeah, that is bad. I don't think he has it though. I think he would have activated it. 
Does um, he have any other cards? I'm not sure. I, I I think he probably he might still have it because we didn't have a big enough monster. So I think I think probably something like hmm, maybe Plague Spreader, maybe Spirit Reaper. Hmm. I think we should probably get Plague Spreader because then we can at least threaten to do something. Yeah, that's the, true. Uh, even just like Brionic Priority. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I would probably just summon Stratos and search Prodigy. Well, actually, you could search malicious here, but do we? I think. Oh we, no, we already used. Malicious. Yeah, we used yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. We used prodigy. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking like, oh, we could search malicious and a deck Debbie does, then we'll just have malicious in the grave. Yeah. So. You want to lure so, yeah, now, or are you still reading deck Debbie? I think we should should just try. I mean, it's 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 gonna suck if he has it. Yeah, uh, I'll say that. Okay, definitely banish the Prodigy here. Okay, I think we can safely say he does not have Deck Debbie now. Yeah, uh, just a time to attack the Armageddon Knight, and then if he doesn't, we might just have game with Brionic on the following turn. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've got him to 17, one Oppression's gone, and we have Heavy, so I mean, we should... We're pretty yeah, chilling. Most here. don't most don't main deck two. I I do though. I think maining two is right because it helps against the the frog matchup. So now we just heavy brio bounce attack, right? Yeah. The only thing that, I don't even know what stop with the stop is that Bayou plays. Like unless he Icar chains yeah, Icarus he just, here or something. Yeah, you just scoop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, steamroll. Let's go. Good showing for zombies. Good episode. All right, so we got a. This is a lot of stuff here. So. Okay. We want two crows. We want the compulse, the other dust tornadoes, and the deep prism. Okay. I'm just doing like the really basic stuff first. I'll th we want to take out solemn. Wing blast, call the haunted, book of life. Foolish and tomato. Okay. And probably I would want to put in one other thing. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, could put in. The thing, I always go back and forth on Tragodia because Tragodia gets killed by Deck Debbie because it counts as zero in the hand, but it's mm. also just so good if you see it. Like, oh, he's disconnected. Oh no, we lost this guy. We have extra, we, can have, we have all the time to talk about it now. I think it's fine. I I sometimes do Vortex against Vayu because it can deal with like a Fossil Dina and something else. Yeah. But I, I do like leaving Dushy in uh, against Vayu. Okay. Well, let's see if he makes it back in time. He did notice Scoop there. Like, yeah. Pikachu 12, come back. Brionic is, is actually like one of the most insane cards ever made. The, the old effect of it. Yeah, Brio is And so like, think crazy. about how many like stupid, like the stupid OTK decks exist because of that. Like the frog deck only exists because you can bounce symbols of heritage. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. That, that terrifies me. I've Apparently never played Josh against said, it. Josh said there's going to be a 3v3 team in November where all three of them are playing it. You know, that's like one of the times where, like, I just want to have, like, four starred Ladybug of Doom in my Light Sworn deck. Is that what it's called? The one that when it goes to grave, you just gain a thousand? I think you'd still. I mean, that wouldn't stop anything. I think, doesn't that deck take like 30 minutes to combo or something? 
I've never even played against yeah, it. Yeah, they actually. have to institute a rule where you had to have a minute turn under ten minutes. That's or crazy. you automatically got a game loss. Well, Pikachu twelve did not make it back. All right. I think like once you get a decent amount of games, I know people say it's like, ladders like really annoying, but like I've played like like I've played against Cormac like multiple times. Yeah. On here and like other really good players. Like once you get a high enough thing, you actually do get some. Okay, so I would set. He's he has three fifty six seventeen thirty five. So he's he's been around the block a few okay, times. This is a hero V player if I've ever seen one. That. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Do you think we should set tomato or goblin zombie? I'm almost. I think I'm good with setting. Let's see. I think because I'm, if we set if, if we set torrential solemn goblin zombie. Yeah. And he goes key set. We can just Brionic into whatever, and then also just solemn whatever he has. Yeah, I'm good with but that. Then, I'm good with that. Let's see what happens with that. Okay. We've already won our two matches, so we're just freestyling at this point. I mean, the deck has done has has done well. I still I think it's still like it's just hard playing it. The problem with playing a deck like this over like a oh my god, you were right. The margin of error is so slow. Yeah, thinking here, um. We could torrential this and try to like get Spirit Reaper, or we could just let it go and just like search for Zuki and then just set. Yeah. Because I kind of want to wait to solemn like a spark because then it would be a plus one. That's true. Because if we if we torrential any chain spark. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to get Mizuki? Um, thinking here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so what I was saying is like the problem with playing a deck like this in a big tournament is the margin of error is so small because it's just you don't it, the the decks that are you're, you're playing against are just a little bit stronger in certain areas. So you have to be either very lucky and just or just never miss miss misplay and also never brick. Yeah, which is true. It's like impossible to do. Yeah. It's like even somebody like Beast Mode who's like really good. I think he went like 7 2 and that's because he's playing the Ultimate Offering. Yeah. He just had a game where he just got Dark Iron and got decked heavy twice. And it's like, all right, yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, I would just set the tomato and pass. Because like if he attacks this, we can get something. Yeah. Let's get another Goblin Zombie. Or actually. Wait, wait. Uh, you could get no. You should get get uh, malicious here because then you can summon Stardust, and if he sparks either one of the monsters, you can still make Stardust by summoning malicious. Again. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And then we'll just dark arm the field. Okay. Okay. They summon Plague. Yeah. No, no. I've summoned Diva. Oh, Diva. Yeah. Yeah. Because if this goes through, you can make two level eights. Okay. I think he might have a pressure set, but because he set this monster, which I'm thinking he's maybe Snowman or or something. Yeah. But this is, this is fine now. Okay. Target. We we'll just let that go through. Uh, I'm trying to think. So if we let it go through, the, okay. So if we do that, then we need to. Oh wait, no, we still have the same same arm Yeah, just let it go through and then just banish malicious and then summon Stardust again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. So I was thinking like, oh, we'd have to summon Dark Arm first, but we wouldn't need to. Okay, so that was actually smart by him because he's anticipating return. But he missed anyway, so. Yeah. That is actually a smart thing, though. That that was a good play. Yeah, that was smart. Because he's also just anticipating that we're making Stardust. Um, yeah, I would solve that. Okay. Is this Diva? I mean, maybe that's wrong, but I think it's fine. Stardust still? <sighs> yeah, I, maybe that, maybe that was wrong because like we could have still like, but I didn't want him to get the alias back, but yeah, I think we just go Stardust and Dark Arm. The problem is if he has, if it's, if it's a, you can you can go ab zero and crash into the to the stardust. Yeah, yeah. 
I just go dark arm, banish the tomato, attack for 53. Okay. I mean, he's got it. He's literally has to have miracle and a water, or he's dead, or something like. Um, it's hamster. Okay. You know, can you can you believe I picked this guy who was just playing hero beef by just looking at? I know. Him I know. It's so on brand. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna attack with this guy first. Man. I mean, I have. I, yeah, it doesn't matter because you have dark arm for the for yeah. the cores anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, that's it. Yep. All right. Please don't have miracle. I mean, we have brain control too. If he leaves up anything that's too big, we can. Okay. All right. Yeah. Great. And also, we have plague spreader too. So. Zombies, baby. Zombies. <laughs> Is, Damn, it's, still... it's about time one of these videos goes like this okay every video i've done okay. i've gotten right. like thrashed. so we want we want the two snowman the two dust tornado uh the mind crush and the deep prison okay i don't fully know if he's playing diva or not i'm thinking he's not playing diva because he's playing hamster so i not don't think we should side in rug yeah that's true I would side out, dust shoot, wing blast, um, probably tomato, um, foolish, and maybe book of life. We need one more. One, two. Yeah, we need one more. Okay. Um. Honestly, you could take out Saul. I'm going second. That's probably fine. Or I don't really want it going second anymore. Yeah. So the reason I put Mind Crusher in is because against this deck, you can just if they attack with something like they attack a Kai with the alias, you can just Mind Crush on us. Yeah, that is really insane. And you can also mind crush their search off the off e collar rota. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. It was on the hamster technology. That's a little bit different. I mean, yeah, the sn snowman is just good because it also gives you for future and miracle. Where yeah, if you you like, it just makes it like um that a little bit better. All right, this hand is fine. Hero beat is just such like a, it's just such, I don't understand why people thought the deck was good. Like, yeah, and they did in the beginning. You don't even have like a Blackwing matchup. Like, like you can definitely still lose to Blackwing with Hero beat. It's not like a amazing matchup, I think. Yeah. Oh. All right, this is probably okay. Raikou or Hamster. Yeah, so. You want to set turtle? I don't feel like he plays Caius in his deck. Surely he doesn't. No, but I'm think thinking like, yeah, I'd probably just like set turtle, like set MST, because if he's going to. I think that's fine. I feel I was like, maybe we could summon it and just hope. I, I never like attacking hamster because then it's just so bad. Yeah. Okay, so it was Raikou. All right. What does he want here? Ooh, back row. Wrong choice today, uh -huh. buddy. Yep. Now he tributes for Caius. I'd be sick. Oh my god, he does play Caius. Oh no. What the hell? Oh my god, no! Oh bro, no. no. Why do these right, always... To be fair, we had no way of knowing that that no, would happen. There was no. no indication. Yeah. When I see a hero blast, I'm not thinking about Caius. Yeah. That was right, crazy. Kind of, kind of annoying. I would probably set... Check his graveyard again. Uh, see what he mailed. Okay, so he mailed... Alright. Hmm. I might just, like, set Zombie Master, set Mirror Force. Okay. I honestly don't blame us, but the thing is, I think we sided wrong because we didn't know he was playing Kaios. Yeah, that's true. So the thing is, if that turtle hadn't been banished, we could have discarded malicious to summon it. But it's okay. It's not looking good for us here. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're going to mirror force this guy, right? Yeah. Maybe we can still come back and win. Caius was so crazy. I really, 
I mean, I guess it makes sense if he's playing hamsters and stuff. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna hit this hamster. This hamster is getting hit right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not respecting gores. No, we can't. No! Oh, 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 oh God! Oh! oh this is... All right, oh. just set, set the gores then. Yeah. D don't set dust. It's okay. fine. This is, bad. This is so he had, he had stupid. A, he had everything, man. This is. The thing is, like respecting gores is like usually wrong because if you just wait, they're just you're just letting them draw more cards. And they're gonna draw yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So most of the time, unless you really can't deal with it. All right, now we're gonna deeper than this guy. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't switch the token because mirror force is gone. Maybe he just really likes that goat token. Yeah, that's true. It's possible. All right, that's kind of annoying. Just set the dust. To be fair, if he summons another Kaios, we can take it. Yeah, that is true. The worst is when somebody takes Drab Zero, but like discarding Titania or something. You or did you... that at uh, Indianapolis, right? I did. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I still can't believe that game you drew Soul Exchange for game though. That was so crazy. <laughs> And I was like, I can't draw anything. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> this okay, is so if good. we had Caius in our hand, it would be game. Yeah. But we just just pass here. Because I think I don't want to just use it on this. Yeah. Soul Exchange and Light Sworn side decks is kind of underrated. You're on triple Celestia. I would dust the new one. Oh, yeah, you're right. I should have. Oh, the old one was Trap Dust Shoot. Okay. Ch wait, 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 wait. You could wait. Should, should we shark him and say, like, we're not in semi phase yet? Uh, no, it's fine. I probably yeah, should okay. have, but it's okay. It's fine. All right. Yeah. We've, we've, we've already won a couple games. My so. only thing is you could chain, you could chain. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Chain dust to set the brain control so he doesn't know that we have. Oh, yeah, I guess that is true. But it's too late. Yeah. Yes, because, like, you can chain the, the dust would resolve first, even though it would still resolve. Yeah. He just wouldn't know we had brain con. Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's bad. Okay. Yeah, even no, if I had dusted the new one, I guess we still get dust shooted. Okay. Yeah, what well. does he have in his hand? Like he has four cards in hand. And he he doesn't. He probably has at least one miracle. In yeah. Because he has no waters or or earths. I just pass. I mean, there's you're so close to having game here. Though. I know. <laughs> I'm excited about the tournament tomorrow, though. Should be fun. Yeah, me too. Now he's going to attack. I would just think, just think, click, click thinking for a sec. Just psych him out Before a little. Look yeah, at both Yeah, just graveyards. make him think it might be another, another deep prison or something. Yeah, look at both graveyards. You want I had a crazy here? game on DB. Uh, yeah, just hit the new one. Yeah, okay, that was good. Okay, we have call. Um, I guess you can... I don't know, maybe you just don't set it, though. Because if you don't... My thing is, if you don't set it, and he attacks, like, Alias, you have... Your track is 2,400. Yeah, that's true. But you could... Uh, yeah, I think it's fine either way, really. Because he also knows you have it, though. All right. Yeah, I would play Lur. Okay. We're going to draw the second multi here. I'm good, guaranteeing it. Okay. I would banish the malicious. I think. I, I, I think Trag could be useful later. So I think I would set Snowman and... Deep prison or, or set both? I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't. I just don't have a good feel of what his cards are because I don't yeah. know. Like, he has oppression and he has Caius. He has a hero blast and. I'll set both. Let's see what happens. Future that one Maryland tournament that Yu Ching won with with the 
that he crowed so many hero blasts. It was so funny. Yeah, I can imagine that crow is actually kind of underrated against hero B. Yeah, took me a while to realize you, you that. But... Underrated against hero B, especially the diva version, is just oppression. Yeah, oppression hits ten cards in their deck. Yeah, that's true. Three diva, three miracle, potentially call cyber dragon, like. What the hell? Okay, so he's on this technology. I, okay, usually let me tell you a story about this card. Boy, let me tell you a story about this card. Okay. When this card came out, people were so hyped for it. Yeah. It was like $100 on release. Oh my god. For Ultras. That's insane. Because Apprentice Magician was like really, like, seen as like a really good deck. And then it was like immediately fell out of favor because it's just too slow. Yeah. Alrighty. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to snowman this guy. Yeah, I mean, snowman just traded with a miracle fusion. That's pretty good. All right. Typical. Typical. Um, okay. I would be careful with the call the haunted now because. Like, you don't want to go like call and let it get deprisoned or something. Yeah. So I probably would just pass here and just maybe just try to deprison the Ab Zero when it comes out. Yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe he thinks he, we have Torrential, so he doesn't summon something else. I still, we're still in a pretty bad spot, I'd say, just because we have two less cards. Yeah, I guess really one less card because we went second. Okay, next turn he gets his guy Zuki. Okay. Yeah, I would not I would not do anything because I'd rather just hold this card for Trag in hand because we can also for, like steal level four. Yeah, we're just going to deeper than that zero if he doesn't have something like Psalm Judgment or something like Trap Song. Yeah. He's not going to attack. OK, OK. What are the odds? One, two. Huh. Okay. Hmm. This is a spot to be in. Okay, all right. What about this? This is wild. I don't think this is a good idea. Really fun. I'm all in, if baby. All of the haunted. Caius or Zombie Master. Right. We brain control the Ab Zero. Yep. We tribute set Tragodia for two tributes to kill itself, wide the Ab Zero, and then we dark. Hey, I'm I'm down. This is gonna get oppression, but but uh Actually no, wait, 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 wait. I just realized the flaw of this problem is that it will it will kill our own gores by doing this. Because the call will stay. Oh, yeah, you're right. If I tribute... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Well... I guess we're already right. we're already invested. I think we shouldn't do it... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's go more. It. It'll be funny. At least we got, we'll get another game. I guess we'll probably lose this one. Yeah, so we're going to tribute set Trigodia, right? Or, or you could attack first, too. Like, that's... Yeah, that's also. I think attacking first is better. Like if you just attack with the with the the Ab Zero. Okay. Yeah, that's the worst case scenario. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go to game three. I, I we can't come back. Yeah, we don't have. Yeah. All yeah, right. because that we should we also we just shouldn't have done that. That just wasn't smart. It wasn't smart, but it, it was fun. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna want some pulling the rugs for these Caiuses. Yep. We're gonna put in two pulling the rugs, and we're gonna put in Dushy. Okay. What What do you think about putting in Crow? Because he's just this man is the, playing a lot of Hero Blasts. Yeah, this guy is like has the, like a one like what like one Crow. Or something. Yeah, I'm I'm good with one Crow. Okay, so let's take out Call because that's kind of mid. He's a side depression. Yep. Yep, for um, sure. Return? No, card's way too. It's just, it's just stupid good. I, I, okay. I, I, I would maybe take out like one. 
I don't know, man. Maybe... Maybe, like, take out one Caius. Yeah, I agree with that. And... You probably don't even need Rug. Or you could probably just do, like, one Rug. I just don't have anything else I want to take. Because I think everything else is pretty good. Okay. So we need one more card if we want to do one Crow. One I think we need three Dust I Yeah, I mean, if he has Oppression, but... What's, we could probably take out a monster. Like, we'd take out, like, one turtle or something. All right. Just because he's playing Raikos and Caius's. Yeah, that's true. It's going to be hard to get turtle to land there. This man, this man was in the lab and it's like, you know what? I'm going to mill Alias with Raiko. Yeah. And then I'm going to hero blast it. He's like, I'm going to mill Alias and Crystal Seer. Yeah, so I would set just MST and Snowman. Because if he summons Alias and attacks into it, or if he just like sets a hamster or a Raiko, yeah, he'll just set the rug on the following turn. Okay. Oh, all right. In phase space typhoon. Yeah, just in case it's dust here, I think it's worth it. Goblin zombie. Okay, so I would I would set the goblin zombie and I would set the rug. Because unless it's Raiko hit the back row, then Caius. Yeah. I don't feel great about it, but I think that's that's fine. Okay. This is fine. This is good. All right, this is this Caius is about to get stopped right here. He's gonna like sear into MST. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Everything I say on these comes true. No, that always really annoys me. You're what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to banish them face down. Yeah. When you're when you do effects like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, I would just set Spear Reaper. Cause I kind of want to hold the snowman for like an ab zero or something bigger later. Okay. And maybe, yeah, I was thinking maybe you could set heavy, but it's kind of risky. So I think it's fine. Okay. We're going to play the slow game here, I guess. Bro, what does he have in his hand? Uh, yeah, I just, I just set bottomless and pass. Okay. I just pass after this. I, you don't want to commit too many back row to heavy or something. Yeah. Out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're getting a lot what, of turns. This man has a, he's, he's just getting Exodia. I mean. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on him having torrential? He's not going to. The thing is, if you flip Goblin Zombie, he's not going to turn. So if you. It's probably. Because I, I don't really want to attack into Defrizz. That's the thing. Because. We can either get Zombie Master or an Alert Target. So I think it's just better to just pass here because he's going to do something eventually. Okay. And we're in a pretty good spot. Like, we can't be Caius. We can't. And we also have Heavy. Okay. All right. I would Alert here. Allure and he chains Dust Shoot. Man, don't 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 say that, man. That, that's like if you mind crush and mermails calling Janice controller when they had when they play a lot. Yeah. Uh okay. Yeah, you're good. Banish the goblin zombie. Okay. I think I would just pass here, or 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 set dust maybe, but I don't I don't think you even really need to. Yeah, we're just but it's fine. It doesn't eventually... really matter because the, the 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 dream is he plays something that we play a trap, and then we like heavy him. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> sure. All right. Thanks. I would get a zombie master just as like a beat stick. Uh, 
I would dust the new set. Just in the end phase. Not no, don't oh, do it now. Don't do it now. Too late now. Hmm. It's not too late. Alright, I would summon Stratos and just search search um Prodigy or Malicious, it doesn't really matter. There's no way this is going. This is, it'll probably get bottomless or something. What are all of these back rows? One of them's oppression, I think. That's why I was thinking maybe holding. No, he bottomless it. He bottomless it. Oh, okay. Okay, so now you can do the thing which I love doing, which is so stupid. End phase. Just go to end phase and just discard malicious as your seventh card. Yeah, that's nice when that happens. It's nice too because we can also just like wall him with Reaper. Yeah. Because now he can't even Miracle Fusion. I dust that one in the end phase. Dang it. You know, I forgot again. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We haven't gotten punished yet, so it's fine. Okay. I kind of. So, all right. Yeah, this is this is a weird situation because I'm thinking like oh like, and if he has road, he can't summon Stardust because he's Dino. Yeah, I kind of want to like set Snowman Eater. Yeah, that's that's probably that's probably a good idea. He'll probably, he's gonna attack it. And or... then maybe next turn we can maybe do things. We have, so two, we have darts. two darts right now. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, Heavy is gonna go in unless he has Solemn, and I'm just gonna randomly he probably does have Solemn. You know one of those are here to blast, though. Yeah. Snowman is so good. I'm going to dust one of them before I heavy, just to see if we can snipe Don't, Solemn. Yeah, just wait till he sets something, if he sets something in the end phase, though. So. Okay. Okay, I would... Alright. So, we could... Yeah, what... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If you dust, you could just pick one of them, and if it's like you hit Solemn or something. Yeah. Because you could just go heavy, summon Zombie Master, and then attack and attack with Reaper directly. If you but that's it that is a bit risky though. Yeah. You know what? We're we're doing this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What? We're doing this guy, right? I I don't know. I don't know. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec. I'm just thinking because we didn't hit one of the negates here, so we can also try Kaiasing a back row, and if he stops, I do it... not. I do not want to Kaias a back row. I, I think that's a bad idea. Okay, all right. Just saying. I think we should just go heavy and see what happens because we're gonna need to do something eventually. Okay, let's do it. If it was a tournament, I probably wouldn't do this. Oh, it resolves. Oh shit! All right, what are these? What are these back row? Hero blast MST. And oppression. Okay, so one of them was. Okay, great. I called two of them. Called two of them. Okay, just summon. Um. Probably just summon Mizuki. And then just turn Reaper to attack. Attack. Get a card out of the hand. Set deeper zone. Okay. Oh, is he? What? What? Why is he? <laughs> oh. Hey. Okay. Great. What? <laughs> Setting four back row it's with no with no all, with no protection. All we had to do was just activate a heavy storm. That whole time, <laughs> that was all we had to do. That was hilarious. Okay, well, I think this has been a pretty good showing for the most part. Yeah. So, what do you think of the stack? I have a newfound perspective. Um, you see how like insane, like when it like that, that one black game against Black Wings where you just absolutely killed the guy on turn two. Yeah, and it was, it was not even close. Like yeah, it was not, and also it wasn't even hard. It was like yeah, you had a you had a diva and you had one monster and a dust tornado, and that's all it took. Yeah, basically. yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I I really enjoyed this. Like once again, another deck that I've never played, um, and now yeah. I can understand I think, why people enjoy playing this deck so much because yeah. it is kind of fun. Like. Goblin Zombie is just like a fun card, you know? Goblin Zombie is a crazy card, yeah. The It's just a lot of like what it's also just like a very random because of like the one ofs. It's also this sort of similar with Bayou with how there's so many one ofs that there's the each game against it is so different and just becomes of what 
yeah you draw that's limited yeah for sure i really enjoyed it uh we we'll definitely have to do a part two of this at some point yeah well we could try like the other like the other version that i'd really like is the one that plays greffer yeah because you can go greffer discard malicious priority malicious effect so oh yeah can't true. Throw it. that's true. and then diva and then you have and then you also can play necrogardena so you can go like discard malicious send necrogardena and then protect your greffer so you mm -hmm. have sort of that and then it plays yeah. more like you can either some versions like gold sark which i don't i'm not a huge fan of i think it's a little bit bad but it's i i sort of see it yeah i i just think it of the 1.5 decks this is this is my, by far my favorite one yeah yeah i really enjoyed playing it okay guys well i guess that's about all that we have for you today thank you guys for watching this is mike from the edison club signing out until the next one Answer right, go Caius. I go check the pairings, I'm like, don't know who this guy is. Hamster right, go Caius. Hamster right, go Caius. 2 0 every round, man, and I ain't even trying. It's just hamster right, go Caius. Hamster right, go Caius. Hamster right, go Caius.